What up, this is Patrick Hayes, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the kinds of magic rituals, the kinds of rituals in your everyday life that will literally transform your life into your dream life. Because the kinds of rituals that we have on a regular basis, the things that we do on a repetitive basis is ultimately what structures our consciousness and what creates the kind of life that we experience. If we're perpetually having negative thoughts, we're going to structure our consciousness in a way that is magnetized to negative thoughts, and we're gonna have negative actions that's gonna create a negative life. This is really basic stuff. So what I wanna talk about here is the importance of creating rituals that, in a sense, act like a magnet that pull you back to your center. And these are different rituals like meditation, like doing different spiritual practices, like different positive thinking techniques. This could be exercise, this could be so many different things. But essentially, understanding that what these things are at their core are actually magnets, the rituals that magnetize you back to your center. So one of the things that's really important is identifying the kinds of things that bring you back into balance. And in order to identify this, what this requires is it requires you to be able to be aware of your energy. So this requires you to tune into your energy on a regular basis so that you know what activities are causing what in your energy field. See, this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. A lot of people are cut off from their energy field and they're very much stuck inside their mind. So they'll do particular activities like eat terrible food, or watch shows that disorient them and scatter their energy, or go to different places where it's unhealthy for them, and they won't actually be aware that they're causing themselves detriment because they're so caught in the, the moment or in like the mental fixation of whatever's going on that they're not aware of what it's happening to them energetically. So one thing that I highly encourage for people is to start doing a little bit of an inventory as to what's going on with your energy after different activities that you do. So for example, if you go to the movies and watch a horror movie, when you leave, like when you're in the movie before it starts, feel into your energy field and feel what's going on with your energy. After the movie's over, feel back into your energy again and take note of what's happened to your energy field and how it's changed. And this process can be applied to anything that you're doing, whether it's spending a lot of time on the internet, scrolling on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it is, or whether it's going out and spending time with a particular person. And what you'll come to notice is that there are certain activities that really feel good on your energy field. They expand your energy field. You can feel more energy moving through different energy centers, and it has a balancing effect. This is a, a kind of BG3 energy is one of the terms for it in biogeometry. And this is the a centering energy. It's the energy that adaptogenic herbs have, the ability to bring you back to your center, right? You will also notice that there are certain tasks, certain uh, activities that will send a lot of energy through different areas of your body, right? So you can do different third eye practices that will move a lot of energy up into this area of your body. You can do other heart practices that move a lot of energy into your heart. You can do different activities that may add a lot of energy to some of these different areas. But the key here is to really be aware of what activities are causing what kind of energy movement in your body. And when you start becoming aware of that, then it's very clear when something has served you in a way or when something has, uh, has not served you, has been negative for you. And so once you become aware of that, then you can really start pinpointing the best rituals for you to continue with, whether that's meditation, whether that's getting into nature, whether that's skiing or snowboarding, all these kinds of different things. And when you figure out the things that are best for you, then you can develop rituals in your life where you're constantly doing these things on a regular basis in order to bring you back into balance. Now let me talk to you about why it's so important to come back into balance as far as your path in life. And I'm gonna give a little bit of a metaphysical understanding of this. This is because there's energy currents coming from all different directions at all times. 
And if you don't have something that centers you back onto your path of your own highest development, then you easily get caught in the currents of your reality. So think about all the different currents that exist. There are currents from different people in your life that have different dispositions and have different momentums of energy that if you're around that person, you might synchronize with the way that they're thinking or feeling and you might start making decisions that are more like the kind of decisions that they would make and that can take you off of your own personal path. That could also be something that guides you onto a better path. But see, if you don't have the energy field awareness to know whether this is opening you up and improving your energy field or distorting your energy field, then you wouldn't know whether um, it's good to be taking on qualities of someone else or not. So some other currents are the currents of media in general, the currents of uh, what is sold to us, the marketing world. And this is huge because you're driving down the street and there is a billboard for a certain kind of food or there is a, an advertisement for a certain like new technology that you're interested in or a new kind of computer or a new phone or all these different things. And there's a current that exists there. And if you don't have um, energy rituals that bring you back into balance, then what happens is you get picked up by currents and you basically start running programs. And this is an issue that everybody's had because everybody has inherited negative programs from the broken aspects of the culture that we live in. So when we can start learning how to, how to discern what brings us back into balance, and then what are other energy currents that pull us out of that center, then we can start noticing when we move away from our center, and then we can consciously bring ourselves back into balance by doing some of these rituals, whatever the ritual is that, that helps you the most. So the best approach for this is to figure out some really powerful rituals that bring you back into a center and do them every single day. They don't need to be super long, and especially in the beginning, in order to maintain these practices, it can oftentimes be really useful to start with something really small, small enough so that you know you can do it every single day. So this can be like meditate for five minutes every single day. And once you develop the capacity to do that, and it's easy to do it every single day for five minutes, then maybe you can bump it up to 10 minutes and then over time bump it up further and further and then continue to take on new practices that help you center your energy. And what this starts to do is this starts to act like, uh, like a gravitational pull, a magnetizing force that pulls you onto your primary highest vibration timeline because it's pulling you back into your center from which you have a clear view of what your goals are in life, what feels right to you, and what you want to be and what you know that you truly are at your core so that you can take action in accordance with that and not get confused by other energies that come along and kind of push you off your path. Now, one of the common things that happens to people is that when something really intense happens, it can kind of shock us out of our balanced state and into a kind of trance state. So imagine you're quite balanced, but then you get a really um, like upsetting news and that upsetting news knocks you into a trance. Now what can happen is if you get knocked into a trance about that news and then something else happens and something else happens, you can get knocked out of your center and kind of lose your connection to that center point, right? And if you don't have a ritual that you do on a regular basis that brings you back to that center, then you can get off on a tangent and just continue off on that tangent forever, forever, and keep getting hit by other things that keep you knocking you in different directions. And then you might end up living out someone else's agenda, maybe big pharma's agenda or some big corporation's agenda that's telling you this, this is how you should act. You need to take this pill or you need to do this thing. You start living someone else's dream because you don't have something that brings you back into right relationship with yourself where you can have a sense of this feels right. I know that I'm in balance with myself and I know what I want to do. So this is the power of ritual. And by taking these rituals seriously and developing a pattern, a habit 
of taking action and performing these rituals on a regular basis, you're literally building, like I said, a gravitational pull that keeps you on your path to greatness. This becomes like a feeling awareness compass, right? So I'm gonna say that again, a feeling awareness compass. So when you feel yourself get knocked off, you learn what that feels like. And so when you start to go off in the wrong direction, you come back to your ritual and it brings you back. And your awareness of feeling acts like a compass keeping you to your true north. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you found this video useful, please share it with somebody else that you think it might be useful for also. And I'm super excited to keep sharing awesome content with you. So thanks for tuning in. And I'll talk to you next time. One love.